everybody, this is Pam Allen, and I'm the co-author with Dr. Ernest Morell of the book, Every Child a Super Reader. And I'm the founder of Lit World. And in 2010, we created a holiday called World Read Aloud Day based on many children and young adults around the world who asked us to please raise that idea, idea even higher. And so we did. And then we partnered with Scholastic to make this idea grow even bigger. And thanks to this amazing partnership, World Read Aloud Day is now in many countries around the world, celebrated by people of all ages. And this year, we welcome you to join us on February 1st, 2018, to celebrate World Read Aloud Day and help us make it even bigger than ever. World Read Aloud Day is created around something we call the seven strengths which is seven really core ideas that come as we read, we become stronger and stronger, emotionally and academically. The seven strengths are belonging, friendship, kindness, curiosity, confidence, courage, and hope. And you can see these strengths in every book that you read, but in some books you can see them more than in other books. So you have lots of ways to talk about books and to read them aloud to friends and to family, to children, to young adults, to your elders. Every age loves a read aloud. The read aloud is a way to share with people how much you love them, how much you care about them, and also how much you, you care about this idea of building empathy through reading, which is what the seven strengths are all about. Today, I'll say a word about belonging. Belonging is what we intended when we created World Read Aloud Day. It's what we thought about as we thought about the power of reading, about creating a reading community worldwide, about saying when you sit down with a book, you're really inviting people to belong to something. You're not leaving anyone out. That reading aloud and reading together is a way to create a sense of belonging within your own heart and your own mind so that you always feel powerful wherever you go. One of the books that we read that we love is a book called Abuela by Arthur Doros. To me, this is a great book that's an example of the power of belonging. This character and the grandmother travel around the city of New York and they see things that make them feel that they belong not only to the city of New York, but to each other and to the world. And that's really what reading aloud is. It's what reading is, the experience of reading. It's a feeling that you're not alone that you belong to other people and other people belong to you. This year, World Read Aloud Day is huger than ever. We're partnering with J.K. Rowling and Harry Potter's Book Night to make World Read Aloud Day truly 24 hours. How can you celebrate World Read Aloud Day with us? You can come visit us at the Scholastic website. You can come visit us to be part of creating in your own school, in your own family, in your own community, a way to make World Read Aloud Day huge, to show your community, to show your children, to show your friends that reading aloud does make a difference, that by raising our voices, we can say to each other, you're not alone, and that reading can keep you company, even in those lonely times. So I thank you for being part of the RAD movement, W-R-A-D, and being part of World Read Aloud Day with all of us at Lit World and Scholastic and through the J.K. Rowling book night. Together, we'll make those 24 hours powerful and we'll make them last all the other 364 days a year. Thanks for being with us in the World Read Aloud Day movement.